Hey guys, Chris Birch here, Entrepreneur Strategies. Uh, today I wanted to bring you behind the scenes. We have our main sign machine, which prints these choroplast cor boards, you know, like yard signs that you see out on the highway or at intersections. And that machine's actually not working right now. So I wanted to share with you all an alternative, a second method. So what I've done is I printed out on adhesive back vinyl. So on the, the back side of this sheet is an adhesive. And what we're gonna do is I've already trimmed one out here. It's already set up, ready to go. So we're gonna take this mask, stretch it out over top of your graphic. We're gonna take that, lay it flat down, smooth it out. So as you see, you have tape on there now. Take one more piece, come across. I'm gonna take that down. Then we're gonna take our squeegee and we're gonna press that mask. So that basically what we're trying to do is we're trying to create a method where when we peel the adhesive off, uh, the backing off of the adhesive, this operates as a carrier. So it's, it's kind of a bend to pick the material because as some of you probably know, if you stick it wrong the first time, you're going to be reprinting the graphic and doing it all over again. So now we got that mask down. So now I'm going to take my substrate, my, my sign. I'm going to center the graphic on that sign. And then what I like to use is what's called the hinge method, where I get a piece of masking tape and I run it right down the center. So now I have pick it up one way, pick it up the other way. So what I'll do is I'll peel the first side off. So now you see all I'm doing is peeling away the sticky side from the backing. I'm going to take a straight razor, carefully cut that excess off. Then I'll take my squeegee again. Run it straight down the center. And then I'll just be able to flow off the other sides, preventing air bubbles. Take the other half and peel this backing off. And then this side will actually just pop right out. So you have that excess there. Same method, come right down the center. Squeegee that out, and then it's as simple as this. We're going to have to do some back trim, but that's why I leave, I actually leave what's called a bleed area, and that bleed area allows me to keep it at the same 12 by 18 dimensions, but I have crop marks in there, so when I take my straight razor and cut it, it'll now be full bleed all the way around. I'm going to trim this side. Got that excess off. I'm going to trim this side on that same crop mark. Trim this side. And now I know I have in previous videos I've used a, a wet method, which is actually just a soap and water method uh, you can do that but for this demonstration I'll just show you then all we're gonna have to do is peel that mask off get the other side and there you go 
boom. All you need now is the yards, the uh, step stakes. So we'll do the other side of this as well. And guys, if this information has, you know, brought value or kind of shown you the behind the scenes, do me a favor, give, a, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. I have more content coming through as we explore behind the scenes at CreateDC and PrintEquity.com. I'll see you guys soon.